What's going on guys, it's your boy The Catalyst, and I'm back with another old school RuneScape video. I know it's been a minute guys, but don't think I haven't been grinding. As you can see on the screen, I just recently spent 70 mil on a Dexterous Prayer Scroll, which pretty much immediately broke my bank. Once I did that, I had the bright idea of creating a loot from Slayer video. I started with 82 Slayer, and I thought that I could easily make a video about 82 to 85 Slayer within a couple days. Guys, with that statement alone, you should just know that I'm an idiot. 82 to 85 Slayer is around 840k XP, and the average XP per hour for Slayer is typically like 30k. With the start of a new job, my birthday, and other things I had going on, instead of days, this took me weeks. But regardless of how long it took, we here now, boys. In this video, you guys will see me completing a bunch of different tasks, clue scrolls, and filling up this loot tab, which is currently worth 0 GP, and seeing how much we can make. In the background, I'll just be discussing what the Old School RuneScape giveaway I have coming up is about, and what I have planned for my next few YouTube videos. Then at the end, I'll add up all the loot and sell it. So guys, in regards to the giveaway, I'm currently sitting at 1480 subscribers and plan on doing the giveaway at 1500. So if you're not subscribed yet, now would be a good time to do so. Once I reach 1500, I'll create a video depicting what it takes to enter. I know for a fact I'll be giving away at least 15 mil, but the more people that like the video and subscribe, the more I'll give away. 1500 subscribers may not seem like a lot to some people, but I'm grateful for every person and I just want to express that. Now let's talk about what's to come in my upcoming YouTube video. So first things first, everyone keeps asking about the Pure. To be quite honest, I haven't played on him in like a month. I've been so focused on leveling up this account and money making on here that I've been slacking on that account. He's currently sitting at level 74 with the stats I have shown on the screen. For those who watched all my Pure Progress videos with him, you know that I grinded that account like crazy basically all summer. So it's been nice to take a little break from it. Once I raise everything I need to on my main, that account will come back with a vengeance. I just got a second monitor, so soon that account will literally live in Nightmare Zone just like it used to. In regards to the main, I literally want just that, a main. A high level account in which I am not limited to anything within the game. For the first time ever, I've been able to do almost every hard and elite clue scroll and have access to basically every area of the game. It's honestly an amazing feeling. Of course, I still need to grind out Elite Void, learn how to raid, among other things, but I can definitely say my account is on its way. In the future, besides PKing, the focus of this account will definitely be bossing and killing high level Slayer monsters. I want to get to the point where my bank on this account is crazy, which allows me to have numerous sets to PK nonstop both on this account and my other account. If I grind hard enough in PKing and making videos, who knows? I might end up in PvP All-Stars round 2. Speaking of PvP, I'm hyped to get back to making PKing videos. Not only am I substantially better at editing now, the amount of focus that is going into PvP from the updates to the cash tournaments is amazing and honestly pretty motivating. It really motivates me to put myself back out there, back in the field, and to practice as much as I can. Speaking of putting myself out there, my next video will be a big one. It will be our first time seeing your boy's cute face because I just blew a check during Black Friday and Cyber Monday and want to do a couple unboxing videos for you guys. I told you guys about the new monitor already, but I also got a new gaming PC, a new desk, and a brand new DX Racer chair. In regards to the chair, it's supposed to be here, but it's been lost in transit by USPS. Which has never happened to me before and I honestly don't know what the hell to do. I've done like a missing item request but they not getting back to you boys so I don't know. Hopefully it's here by the next video. But guys, I've talked your ear off about pretty much everything except what I'm actually doing in the video. Pretty much every task you see me doing in this video I either enjoy or find lucrative. Some tasks I could have skipped for efficiency but I decided to do them because they either have high totem rates in the catacombs of Corinne or they have high clue scroll drop rates. So with every task, there was a method behind my madness. In the description, I've added a few very important Slayer links. I created a list of tasks that I always do, sometimes do, and always skip. For any newer players watching this and wanting to get involved with Slayer, that list should help. For anyone who is very experienced with Slayer, let me know what you think of the list and if there's any task I'm wasting my time doing or that I'm missing out on. I've also attached Neve and Steve's Slayer task list overall so you can see where I got all those Slayer monsters from, seeing as those are the Slayer masters I currently use. And I've also added the bigger and badder superior monster list so you guys can see which tasks have stronger variants of themselves. 
Realistically, there were times I was tempted to play RuneScape Mobile to train my Slayer levels, but A, I'd end up getting fired at work if I downloaded that damn app because I would not be able to stop playing it, and B, I wouldn't be able to record it for you guys. So unfortunately, that really wasn't an option. I had to be glued to my computer chair to get this done, which realistically wasn't all that bad. For the most part, Slayer is a relatively AFK skill. I love it because not only am I getting XP for the skill itself, it can also make me money and train my combat stats. So pretty much three birds with one stone. I spent the majority of the time just listening to music, watching sports, or watching anime. Overall, it was a pleasant experience. The only thing that started to piss me off a little bit was the clue scrolls. If you guys couldn't tell, I was getting them very consistently while slaying. I enjoyed getting them and didn't mind doing them at first, but when I kept getting BS loot over and over again, it kind of got old quick. I still made sure to do them all just in case, and I would count how many I did and also calculate how much I made per clue scroll at the end of this video. I doubt you guys have counted, but on screen I've shown highlights from 33 Slayer tasks so far, 11 hard clue loots, and 2 medium clue loots. For the remainder of the video, I'll show you guys the rest of the loot from the clues and some important stat highlights before showing myself obtaining 85 Slayer and counting all the loot. So as you guys can see here, I got a master clue from one of my hard clue scrolls, which I was hype about until I seen they wanted me to mix an anti-venom potion. As you can see, I'm only 66 herbalore, and that requires 87. So had to drop it. Let's go, baby! 85 Slayer. We can now slay Abyssal Demons. 340k until 86 Slayer, dude, is eight. 1650 total level though, it's lit. We getting there, boys. Look at these stats, man. I'm a grade A main at this point, dogs. We're getting there, man. Let's see what it is. Last clue scroll. I'm pissed off. All right, boys. I just realized I had a dark total mid, bottom and top. Let's go murder Scotizo one last time. What am I going to get? Is it the pet or is it the uncut onyx? What's it going to be this time around, guys? I don't know. I got a good feeling, though. Let's go, baby. I thought this guy would never die. Then the sequence, like the animation of him dying takes five minutes here. Just pass out, bro. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, 13 battle staffs. 200k right there. And guys, I forgot he drops a hard clue scroll every time. Let's get this out the way. Then we're finally actually done. Absolute garbage again. Before I even get into the price check, man, let me show you this little little fashion scape I got going on. So here's the final loot tab, guys. Not really anything spectacular, but obviously significantly better than what it was when I first started. If you're wondering about the rune items I got during the tasks and clue scrolls, I alked all those, but don't worry, that's accounted for in the cash stack. Started at 400k and I got it up to 1.6 mil. Realistically, that should be 4.6 mil, but I chose to use a tent whip throughout instead of a normal whip. So when that broke, I had to buy a whip back. But in regards to clue scrolls, I did 21 hard clues and the most valuable was worth 210k. Only 9 out of the 21 were over 100k. Trash. I did 3 medium clues and the average loot for those was legit like 15k. Garbage. One elite clue which was only worth 87k. Now, let's price check the first half of this task. First half went down to the adamant bars. It was worth 2.478 mil. Let's see what the second half is worth. The second half, including the cash stack, is worth 2.830 mil. And it ends at the black dehyde body G. Okay, and the third and final tab is worth 2.493 mil. So, what I'm gonna do with that is sell everything and see what we get overall. As you guys can see here, the total loot overall from 82 to 85 Slayer was around 7.7 .7 mil. 
Now I guess it was just my luck because I didn't get anything of value from the hard clue scrolls, medium clue scrolls, or the elite clue that I did, and I also didn't really get anything of value from the superior slayer monsters that I killed as well. But I mean, how can I really complain about 7 plus mil, you know? Now, that is with the whip expense, but without the whip expense, as I said previously, I probably would have been sitting around 10.7 mil. And also you got a minus prayer pots and supplies, which were around one mil cost. So with the whip expense, it's 6.7 mil, and without the whip expense, it's around 9.7 mil. Again, you know, maybe you could do the same thing, 82 to 85 Slayer, and make 30 mil. It's really just an RNG based thing, so you never really know. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely be on the lookout for the content I got coming up, the giveaway I got coming up. You know, there's a lot of things that will be coming up on this channel that you don't want to miss. But that's all I got, boys. See you in the next episode. She want my network, I want it for network. She bring me back like subpoena. I hit it back like subpoena.